So hey everyone, this is Joey back again at ESC Plus, and today we have a special on location edition of our Otter Spotlight. You'll notice I have left Spanky and the confines of my home in New York, and I am in beautiful sunny California uh, here on the beach. And uh, so it's a little bit of an inspiration for today actually, because we're gonna talk about Barbara Mokoi from the Czech Republic. And the reason I connect this to California is because she sounds so much like Lana Del Rey to me. And I think to a lot of people, she actually sounds like Lana Del Rey. Um, she is the selection for uh, the OGAE Second Chance contest this year because she missed out on representing the Czech Republic uh, to Lake Malawi by just so not too much. She was up there. She almost finished, like I think, in second place. She received a lot of 12 points from some of the from the juries. Um, and it's not a surprising thing. I mean, I think if you follow that selection, you probably remember uh, the song called True Colors. Within five seconds, I was thinking this must be Lana Del Rey ripoff or something, but it's not. It's really it's just her. It's amazing. She describes herself as um, pop with influence of, uh, I think, ethereal influences and, and film. Like it's just really dreamy and cinematic, which is very much like Lana Del Rey. And I think fans of Lana Del Rey would respect Barbara for the artist that she is. She often performs with a quintet of uh, orchestra or quartet, I'm not sure. Um, but it's got that feel, that kind of like that grandiose feel to it. I mean, even um, this song, which is like the, we got the studio cut immediately, it's just, to me, it's like it sounds like it could be like during the credits of a movie or something like that. It's brilliant. Um, so that's what led me into her. And then there's some. She's actually been around for a while making some recordings. But one of the more interesting things that she's got out there is a cover of an Annie Lennox song. It's called "The Gift," which is from Annie Lennox's album that was back in uh, 1992, actually. Um, and you can see Barbara on this clip uh, actually playing the piano, um, it's, which is one of her specialties. And it shows like an old soul she is. I mean, this song is, what, like 29 years old now or something, 27 years old. Uh, and she's out there covering it with such passion. It really, um, I think, fits her style. So that's something else that you can check out. But like I mentioned, uh, Barbara, she's been uh, producing some recordings. She has something back from uh, early in 2016 where she produced her first album. And she's got a few uh, video clips from that. Um, there is a piece of her online with um, doing a bunch of songs from the album. One of them is called Gallery, which I'm gonna take a quick listen to now. Um, it was marketed by ESCCZ when she was going through the Czech National Selection. And again, it features her on piano and just something about, you'll see the, the orchestration in the background. It doesn't have the lyrical um, depth and kind of the, the same invoking of the types of imagery that Lana Del Rey would, but the styling to me I'm a big Lana Del Rey fan and I absolutely am eating all of this up because it's similar enough that it's got the same things that I like, but it's, it's, it's by no means a copycat act or anything like that. Barbara seems extremely genuine and very isolated in, in the Czech Republic. Um, you know, she hasn't really toured or anything too much outside of the Czech Republic. And I'm hoping that she will start to get some, uh, some traction here. She's got, she's currently working on an album that's supposed to come out in 2020. And she actually launched a Kickstarter campaign to uh, get the lead video produced for that album. And some of the uh, prizes that she was giving away along with those, don the donations were uh, tickets to uh, the, the premiere, which was supposed to happen in this, this fall um, in Prague. So I'm hoping that that comes through for Barbara. Um, and uh, if there are any spots left in or Barbara, if you need any more support, let us know so we can circulate that, that info. Um, just one other 
video we're just going to take a look at is something called The Old House, which is also from her debut album. And just, this is an actual and official video, um, but you can see that it starts with this really deep orchestration, strings yet again. She um, seems to be really connected to classical music and kind of the, the discipline around it all. So it, it's great. And I feel like this was probably my favorite of, of what I've heard from her outside of True Colors. It immediately brings me to a happy Lana Del Rey place. I'm sorry, I just, that's what I think. Um, but, but yeah, so I'm kind of chilling listening to this music out here in California and it's just, it feels right. So Barbara, I hope that you catch this video at some point and that our subscribers will check out your discography online. I, I kind of dig that she's like the, the Chantanus singer with all these male string uh, players in the background. You go, Barbara. Um, so check her out. Check out Barbara Mokawa. How am I saying that right? Let us know, Barbara, please. And um, just, I guess, um, stay tuned for more from her. Um, we'll, we'll definitely publicize when new material comes around and enjoy your July weekend. First, first weekend of July, we're getting uh, closer to uh, P4 NASTA in Stockholm next month. So we're getting closer to Eurovision 2020. Maybe Barbara will be around um, on January 25th. Uh, the Czech Republic will be hosting their first national live national final at the Forum Carlin in Prague. And uh, I think it's going to be a pretty big deal because they, they booked the venue really far in advance. And also, um, with the recent success in the Czech Republic of uh, people like uh, Mikulis and Lake Malawi, maybe, you know, there'll be a strong showing there of, the, of these Czech artists. And uh, maybe Barbara will show up and say hello. Who knows? Or maybe she'll enter again. Wouldn't that be great? So, um, please. Uh, like our channel, subscribe, and share this video. I want to make sure it reaches Barbara and a lot of your Lana Del Rey fans. I know you have some in your life. So share this video so they can discover Barbara. And thanks for watching. We'll be back to you next week.